Hey YouTube. This is gonna be project. This is gonna be video one of hopefully very very many of working on my 2007 Impala. That the Impala. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done to this car. Uh, like number one, back bumper orange peeling. Some of the peels out on my fingers just now. That's horrible but I don't know that that's definitely a later project you can see it again on the on the hood I see the orange peel rust box gotta figure all that out the grill it's crack cracked up front emblem all on the front bumper and rock chips and everything and recently I changed my headlights show y'all that if I, if I can set my phone up just some white LEDs put them in both headlights and I gotta also change the high beams because they're still the bulb Dang, my front tire is very low on air. It's not a, wow, that's very low. Both of them, both of them are pretty low. Oh, you can see that. It's way too low to be riding on the road and I haven't put air in it since I got it maybe a month ago. Back one's pretty low and yeah, there's, there's some stuff that just needs to be done. Oh yeah. So, about the headlights. They are foggy, looking old, and definitely gonna get new headlights, but I'm broke. <laughs> so I don't have the money to be spending on this. So I was gonna do a wet sand, a buff, and a polish on these. That could also be a video. Back window, as you can see, it's duct taped up right now. The, I it. the regulator inside the door has either fallen off the tracks or it's in disrepair, it's broken. So I need to get a new one of those. And I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna learn how to do that myself. I'm not gonna take it to any shops or anything. I really wanna get my hands dirty and I wanna learn something. So I feel like I'm gonna use this car as just my project to just learn everything. I'm recording on my phone, so excuse the shaking. Right. What else? So yeah, buffing the headlights, uh, getting this window regulator fixed. Gotta get a window regulator for that. Maybe eventually, if I have a lot of free time, maybe during Christmas or something, I can try repainting this. I could, cause I could look in the door seal and get the color code. That's the rest of the car. I could try and repaint this in the, the hood. But that's an extensive project, that's crazy. If I do that, that means something's going really well. But yeah, that's, I think that's where I'm gonna start at. For right now, I can check what tire pressure I need to put on these tires. I'm pretty sure that's in the door seal too. Yeah. So if you look right here, you can see tire pressures for all the tires, cold tire pressure. And for the spare, it needs to be 60, but for the front and the rears, it could be 30. And this definitely is not at 30. You can see it's poking. It's, it's on every tire. On the front, it's worse, because that's what the engine is. But on this one, it could use some air. Pretty sure. Oh, this one it could definitely use some air. And again on the front, it could use some air again. Pretty sure these tires are they're they're pretty worn. But I don't know. They grip up nice, so <laughs> as well as old tires can do. So I'm not gonna not gonna replace those yet. I uh, still on a little bit of money constraint. And they're I don't know, they're not reputable tires. They're mile stars. It's not, 
It's not ridiculous. I remember watching an episode of Car Trek, and they were talking about um, Tyler's mild stars on his Pontiac, his Firebird. Oh yeah, this interior needs to be reworked. Swan landed over there. But another project is this interior needs to be clean. You see all down there how dirty it is. This is a very old car. It was a gift from one of my relatives. And they definitely used it. And they got a new car recently. So for my 17th birthday, they gave me this one. And it's it works. It definitely gets me from point A to point B, but there's definitely some work I can do to it. You know, you see all the seat belts. All the seat belts are a little mildewy. The carpet on the inside needs to be cleaned. The seat needs to be cleaned. The fabric on the seat needs to be cleaned. Other than that, it's a pretty nice car. Oh yeah, you can see. Steering wheel is definitely worn. I don't know what I could do about that. I can look into it. Oh, and the AC. I think this is a common Impala problem because I've looked this one up a bunch. The AC definitely has something. It works. Don't get me wrong, it works. If you're looking at that, I think it's uh, something to do with the AC vent. I have to look into it more. But if I get in the car and I turn on the AC behind this thing, it's like something to do with the vent it starts clicking rapidly and it goes away after a little bit but it's really annoying and it's a not an easy fix but it, i could definitely fix it myself at home so that's also going to be another video idea i'm not gonna mess with that i don't want to break any oh. Oh, you see what that is i think that's the ecu actually yeah it looks like the ecu oh that's filthy the hell is in here? There we go. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, first order of business. Get some air in these tires. My dad has a pump in his car. I just need the electricity from it. Need to pull this car out, back it up to about right here. It's the core is kind of long. And I can put all the air in these tires, and I can also show you the gauges for all the tires. See what they're at right now, and put some air in them. So. I'll get to work on that. And here, here, compressor that I can use to blow up my tires. Put the air in them. Oh crap, it's cold. Let me pull it out. And you can see it goes into the, the car charger port thing. Close this. Well, I can leave. No. And go ahead and open the garage. And then I can take this out to my car, and if I turn, if I plug this in to the back, because there's a little port in the back I can use. If I plug it into the back and turn the power on, should be able to use this pump. See this plugs right in, right here. Make sure, and there's a gauge right here. I'm pretty sure it still works. So the first tick is 10, and then it goes by five. So 30 will be right here. Take this, go right back here, plug it in. Should be good. Make sure that's me. Okay. Now if I took my key. Let me make sure I can't just turn it on right now. Uh, there's a little switch. Right here. Oh, so I don't even have to turn the car on. Cool. This is up to the front. And I can put this on and start pumping. This right here. Cool. Take the little cap off. I'm gonna check the pressure on the gate. Somebody just parked in front of my house. Got out of the trunk. That was weird. Okay, screw that on. Now if I check the gauge, it says 25. So what I'm gonna do, 
So that's 25 right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill it up to 40. Cause this, this is really low. And I don't think five PSI is gonna change it much. It says 30 is for cold tires and it doesn't ever really get cold here. Also, these are all seasons. So, oh shit, hold up. My brakes, is that normal? I, I guess, dude, I, I don't really know. I'll look it up. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna turn this on, get it to about 35 or 40. I'm gonna see where the tire is at, and if it looks good, then yeah, it'll be good. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna keep up with it. Right. So I'll come back in a second. So we're set to 35. And the tire looks better. I don't know if that's great. It, it might just be the weight because of the front wheel drive and engines in the front. So I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna go fill up the other tire. Cause that one's definitely probably at 25 too. That's good. And I'll drive it after to make sure it feels different because before it was like, I definitely noticed some pulling, especially on highway speeds. I definitely noticed pulling to the right or left sometimes. Oh, this doesn't have a cap on it. Oh, that reminds me. Let me go put the other cap on before I lose, lose it. I could probably find some caps online. I, I know I can find some caps online for any of these wheels that's missing their cap. This is the only one I've seen that is a basic cap, but I haven't even checked the other one, so. It sounds like it's losing some air, which I never know if it's... That doesn't ever seem like enough to be a problem. But I'm taking it off. Make sure it's tight. Mm. This pressure is below 25. So yeah, this one... Definitely needed something. I don't know how much that's doing, but... Alright, so it's back at the 35 mark. Can't hear any hissing or nothing. Let me make sure. Yeah, I don't hear any hissing, letting any air out, so there's no hole in the tire. And I guess the only thing left to do is do that. And let out too much air. Pretty sure that was all from the pump, anyways. And now it's time to check this one. Fast as I can. Make sure not to let too much air out checked up wow okay so look this is a whole tick under 25 that's at the 15 or 20 yeah it's 20 i'm stupid so this one's way under pressure that's let me check the tire because maybe these are different tires than what came on it it might be there they're probably the originals i doubt my relative would change the tire well actually now I think about it, these are 13 year old tires. That would be 2020. Two more years, that's 15 year old tires. So I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can tell me the tire life in comments. If I need to get these changed. Oh, I could do a quarter test, right? For If it shows the head, that means I need new tires. But I don't even see any like dates on it. I, I doubt there would be, I just don't know. So, I mean, I'll just fill it up to 30 because max is 44. I don't want to put it on max because that's, that's always stupid. It's like you blow out your tires. But yeah, I'll put it up to 30, 35, and then see how they're looking. So. Cool, so you can cut that off. Uh, pressure goes down on the gauge. And we can move on to the final tire. And then I'll do a driving test so we can see if it feels better. So take this off. You see a little curb rash on the wheels. I really like these wheels. These are nice monoblock. Five star wheels. Five spoke. Would you call these spokes? These are huge. I guess that's a spoke. But whatever. 
see. Pressure is at 25. Better than the other one. And it looks worse. Like, there's way more poke. Hmm. So it might just be the way the cars. Wow, that boot is kind of messed up up there. I really want to lower this car because it's kind of a boat. You can see fist, full fist test, sideways fist test. Still, it's crazy. But, anyways. So I'll cut this on to about 35. And yeah, it might just be the way the car's sitting that makes the tires look this bad. Yeah, Cause it is on a little bit of a hill, but that, I feel like that would mean the other side would, I don't know. We'll, we'll just cut this on and see how it is. It's about 35, so I'll go ahead and cut it off. And take this off. So I'll unplug that. And then, and then I'll take it, I'll wrap it up, put it back in the back of my dad's car, put the cap on my wheel, and time for the road test. It looks better immediately. That tire is way less saggy. It was, remember it was on the ground before I tried to include a picture. This one, it was, I don't know bro, I can't really tell. It looks better, I hope. I took a, I really did get all of that in the recording, so to be able to tell, go ahead and close this. Hey, get this nice and it's hot. Always buckle up. Excuse my socks. Mm -hmm. Rise up like new. Let's see if I could get this AC thing to happen. Music off. If I can get it to happen, then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So driving. And uh, it feels better. It feels better. It's a lot less sloppy. No pulling, I didn't have my hand on the wheel for the majority of the ride down this hill. Um, yeah, it feels, it, it feels like I'm higher up. I don't know how to explain it. And that would be a given. Tires are brand new. And I'm feeling more of the road. The wheel's not moving at all. So the alignment, I knew it wasn't the alignment. It was probably the fact that the, the PSI was so low on the tires, because I'm pretty sure the front left and the front right were like 20 and 25. Like it's two different, two different PSIs. So, yeah, it's feeling nice, feeling good. It's riding nice, it's definitely worth it. Make sure to check your PSI because what I was riding on was dangerous. Like the back one, the back ones were like 20 and the, the recommended was 30. So that's, that's a person jumping out in front of me and they're going really slow. Crazy. But anyways, um, yeah. So, first the mini videos to come. I realized while I was recording the tire thing that there's another problem that also needs to be fixed that was an oil leak. And I don't know if that's a common problem. I also don't know where it's coming from. But it hasn't leaked any oil since I've had it. There was definitely some spots where it was parked at my relative's house. Um, there was oil where it was parked, but there's been no signs of oil and there's, there's no, yeah, that's it. Uh, oil pressures still up engine pre or engine temperature is not climbing past the, the middle mark where it's supposed to be lukewarm or whatever that means is just where it's supposed to be in the middle. And, uh, yeah. So, gotta change the engine oil soon. So I guess when I change it, it'll be fresh oil. Might start dripping again. And then when that happens, we'll definitely have something else to fix. And then other than that, just really clearing the headlights. This back window, you can see the duct tape on it. Uh, and then just other little stuff like the AC thing. And Oh, a new windshield. My windshield is cracked, but I can't do that myself. I'll have to get a professional like safe light or something so hopefully y'all enjoy that hopefully this is a good introduction to me i know this is kind of boring because it's just fixing up the tires but you've made it this far thank you for watching i really appreciate that thank you for starting this journey with me
I don't know when this video is gonna release. I don't even know if I'm going to release this video. So if you're seeing this, then uh, I might have gotten over my shyness. Friends at school don't know I'm a nerd like this. So yeah, that'd be different. Next video, I don't know when that's gonna come. I'm kind of just rambling on because I'm about to get home. Yeah, a little bit after the fact. Uh, the tire looked way better after I rode it. I don't know if it was just how it was turned or I don't know what, but this one looks kind of a little bit the same. This one looks way better uh, over here. That's, that's all right. So, yeah. Thank y'all for enjoying. Catch y'all later in the next video. And